Hello, thank you for joining in wherever you came from. I appreciate your time and attention today as we cover Safe Torque Off, what it is and what it is not. I'm Trevor Sisko with Yaskawa America Incorporated Territory Sales Manager for Illinois, Eastern Wisconsin, and Missouri. I plan to cover the importance of built-in safety features, that is, safety features that are built into servo amplifiers, defining Safe Torque Off, an application example of STO, functional safety and the three categories that those fall into, and then Yaskawa's current solution. Safety functions are built into the servo pack to reduce the risk associated with using a machine by protecting workers from hazards of moving machine parts and otherwise increasing the safety of machine operation, especially when working in hazardous areas inside of guards, such as for machine maintenance personnel, the safety functions can be used to avoid hazardous moving machine parts. Now very important, you must conduct a risk assessment of the whole system, whether that's a standalone machine or a machine inside of a production line, the whole system, to identify safety hazards during all operating modes, production or full auto mode, manual mode including jog where you might go at a slower speed, and maintenance modes, don't forget also what happens when you're in an emergency stop mode. So what is safe torque off and do you need it? STO is a drive sided safety function that when triggered removes all torque producing energy from the motor. Power to the motor is safely removed and no further commanded motion is possible until that's been reset. It's achieved with hard wire base block abbreviated as HWBB. Important that you know this does not imply that motor braking is used, but rather this is an uncontrolled stop. More importantly, the servo motor will move if there are any external forces acting upon it. Think about gravity and vertical loads. If you must, use a separate means such as a mechanical brake that satisfies the safety requirements of the system. And as always, incorrect use of the safety function may cause injury. Some quick insight on hardwire base block. To the right is a circuit diagram of how we achieve this. And again, it is a safety function that's designed to shut off the current to the servo motor with a hardwired circuit. This is how we achieve safe torque off. The drive signals to the power module that controls the motor current are controlled by circuits that are independently connected to the two input signal channels to turn off the power module and shut off the motor current. An application example of using STO would be a large machine that has access guards around it. The access guards are there to protect operators and other personnel from hazards. When a guard is removed, the machine safety circuit is engaged, which triggers the STO circuit to remove power from the servo motor. When properly implemented, this will prohibit the servo pack from commanding motion until the safety circuit is satisfied again. A start request could be made from other operating locations of the machine, but with the STO circuit enabled, it will prevent any accidental starts when the machine is still in an unsafe condition. Modern safety standards outline functional safety as three groups of safety functions that can be utilized with combination of hardware and software capabilities safe stop functions, safe motion functions, and safe braking functions. I'm gonna cover three safe stop functions starting with stop category zero. That nomenclature is adopted from NFPA 79. It's also known as safe torque off. Power to motor is safely removed upon trigger, uncontrolled stop. Stop category one is also known as safe stop one. It's defined motor braking in use. Controlled stop, and then power is removed. Stop category two, also known as safe stop two, is defined motor braking in use, controlled stop, and then power is maintained while monitoring the position of the motor. One example of a safe motion function, and just one, there are many of them, is safe limited speed, abbreviated as SLS. You would use this when transitioning from an operating speed to a safe reduced speed for setup or jogging. 
And then there are also safe breaking functions, which I'm not covering in the slideshow. And now we'll wrap this up with what our current offering has. Yaskawa's current solution is a Sigma 7 product line, which is very powerful, especially when it comes to safety. It's equipped standard with a SIL 3, Safety Integrity Level 3, Safe Torque Off circuit. Depending on your design, you can achieve a Performance Level E or Category 3 with our circuitry. Now, if you need above this, if you want to take advantage of Safe Stop 1, Safe Stop 2, or Safe Limited Speed, functionality, you can do so. We have an advanced safety option card. You simply order it as one part number and it comes installed on the side of the amplifier. Down below, you can see the difference between a conventional machine safety system and a new machine safety system. The new diagram on the right represents what you can eliminate with a Sigma 7 product line. And that would be either input safety, dual safety rated contactors, as well as safety relays that are no longer needed. And there's overall a lot less wiring required because the monitoring functions are built in to the servo packs. Well, that's all I have today, but I really do appreciate your time and thank you for tuning in. You can reach us at 1-800-YASKAWA or yaskawa.com, our website, where we have a distributor search. We'd love to continue on the conversation, understanding your current needs and also your future needs. Thank you very much and have a good day.